Coinbase. Please, if you are listening to me right now, do not pick the wrong side. I mean, it's like the more you do research, the more you realize that fucking everything's a scam. F- everything's a scam. And Coinbase just made a dramatic change to what they are doing. And this has massive implications for all of cryptocurrency. Although they might come for me, to be honest, they might censor this video. They might block my YouTube channel. I have to report on the truth. And the truth is Coinbase just picked the wrong side. The benefits of digital assets for sanction enforcement extend beyond these initiatives. Digital assets have properties that naturally deter common approaches to sanction evasion. You guys tell me, why is it that Coinbase is playing directly into Putin's playbook? He's playing directly into Putin's playbook. It's absolutely ridiculous that these people cannot see this. If you guys didn't know, Coinbase basically just censored 2,500 addresses associated to Russian bank accounts uh, for obvious reasons. They are trying to censor people in the financial industry. Now, there's obviously a war going on and it's terrible and people are dying, but there's also a bigger war going on behind the scenes, which is the financial war that everybody is not talking about. Nobody is even paying attention to what's going on. If we click over here, people are wisening up to inflation. In America, the biggest problem is that people do not like US dollars. The world reserve currency is essentially hyperinflated and they are printing it basically to oblivion. This is the real big problem in the war. And if we come over here, you could clearly see that the Chinese yen is just destroying US dollars. If this chart goes up, this is the Chinese yen versus USD. And right around here, around COVID, they basically took over. The Chinese yen took over. This is the biggest war. This is the biggest war. And what's catalyzing this right now which is playing right into Putin's playbook, are these sanctions. The more they censor people's bank accounts, the more people lose faith. They lose faith in the United States. And why, why Coinbase of all people, Coinbase, I started with you. I started with you Coinbase. My first dollar ever spent when buying Ethereum. I dumped my bank account into ETH in 2015 through Coinbase. I started with you guys. So much credibility. So the biggest, in my personal opinion, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges. But why is it that every time I just do a little bit of research, you guys keep picking the wrong side. I am not for Putin. I am not for Russia. But what they have clearly done is cause all of the biggest financial institutions on planet Earth to censor people. Who are you going to censor next? If I expose the truth on YouTube, will you block my bank account? If my country decides to go to war, will you halt me from being able to spend my funds? Are you tracking my transactions? I'm sorry to say this, but I'm losing faith in cryptocurrency and I actually might turn into a complete fool Bitcoin maxi for the sake of my family, for the sake of everybody around me. This has to stop. They cannot continue to censor people and think it's okay just because, just because they believe that it's going to stop this, this internal or external conflict. The war is real. Don't get me wrong, but stopping people from spending their funds is not going to stop anything. If it's just going to keep pushing people to other currencies with more credibility, America is losing all of their credibility the more they do this. And this is a clear indication. Recently, you can literally see that they're putting sanctions on Russian oil and oil prices are skyrocketing. The more they restrict, the more they expose the truth on how they could pretty much do anything in the world economically. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of it. I should have the freedom to speak. I should have the freedom to transact no matter what time. Nobody should control a monetary system and have this much power. And again, I am not for Putin. I'm not for Russia, but Coinbase just picked the wrong side. They just got on a bandwagon with the biggest 
economic, powerful countries, and they are stopping people. What is next? If I say the wrong thing, will they stop me? This is a big question in my life. And like I told you guys in the last video, I will never, ever fold under pressure. I will never give in to this centralized control. I am going down with the ship. I will continue to spread the truth, no matter how much it hurts me and my family. No matter how much money I lose, I will go down indefinitely with the truth. And the truth is, Coinbase clearly just chose the wrong side. Share this video with somebody that needs to know the truth of what's going on. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm tired. I'm tired of it all.